What's going on guys? Welcome to the video. If you're new here, my name's Ryan. And I'm Kyle, and today we are moving the melanistic crocodile. So, explain to them why you're holding a chainsaw. Oh, right. Uh, so, we put a log in the enclosure, or the tank, and it kind of fell apart because it's a little rotted. So we got to pull that out, but I found a log that I do want up on the tree. You didn't find a log, you found a tree. I found, <laughs> <laughs> found a log. Murder a tree. The tree is very big. We have cut it back many times before. It will be perfectly fine. I am a trained professional. You gotta take the cover off first. Oh, right. <laughs> so, if you don't know what's going on yet, Kyle's gonna climb the tree, and then he's gonna have a chainsaw with him. You can see him back there thinking about how to climb this. Yeah, he has a ladder here. And then he's gonna cut a branch up there that's gonna fall into the water tub. Fall? I'll film this. No, we don't, we're not trying to make it. We're not trying to give a soft landing for the log. We're trying to move the tub because I started a, a mosquito farm over here. It's actually very productive, um, highly lucrative. That's how I've been able to afford everything that we have here. <laughs> um, so, I'm, but I'm willing to give up one of my tubs for that log. So I'm gonna jump on the tree <laughs> and squirrel my way up, and then you're gonna hand me the chainsaw. Sure. Okay. Ready? Oh my god, this is a lot higher than I thought. <laughs> this is gonna be difficult. <laughs> See how nice that was? You, that's called smooth. I'll drop that one. Yes. How? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna break that thing. So. That's a tough branch. Where's my jogger? Huh? Oh, there it goes. <laughs> that branch was a little bit bigger than I thought. <laughs> I told you. We are getting the hell That's down. A, Kyle, how are you going to put that branch in there? So I'm looking for something that will hang in the water. Spectacular. Something spectacular. That will like come in on an angle in the water, but then have a nice bend like this. That it will be a good spot for the little melanistic alligator to lay out. So. This would be way better. What? The alligator's not a baby. All right, let me work. I made one cut, several more to go. All right, so what do you do now? Washing it off. Uh, just because with the chainsaw, uh, it does have chain lube on it. So I just wanna make sure we get all those chemicals off, really clean it thoroughly, and also knock off any of the debris that could float in the water, clog the filter, so just rather really thoroughly clean it out so it's that much easier on the filter when we put it in the tank. I'm just worried about getting it in the tank. Oh, oh I am so sorry. <laughs> oh my god. I just, I don't, I don't know what. As you can see, we're gonna pull this old log out because it is pretty dirty and it's also deteriorating in the tank. That's why we got the fresh log. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be heavy. Yep, there's a lot of fungus on it too. So not the best uh, log on my part, but we got a log. I got it, I got it. Oh, you wanna help? Oh, thanks. Let's it that side. <laughs> oh my God. Got it? Yeah, how okay. great. <laughs> Look at that mess. Alright, get in the pool! No, 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 no! <laughs> it's so destructive. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna see if we can. Uh, Let's take the glass off. The glass is off. The other piece too. Why? There's a divider in the middle. All right. Just, just shove it in.
Yeah. You feed it each way? Yeah. And I will stand up on this log. Oh, it's a bench. I will accept that. We gotta cut that piece off. Yeah. Alright. Chainsaw in the Where's house? Chainsaw. chainsaw in the house. Yeah, yeah right here. I'll chainsaw right in this tank. No. Yeah, you guys hold it. I'll chainsaw it. Don't do this at home. Um, hold on. Let me uh, let me just come around here. So it's a little bit too big to uh, roll in the tank. So we'll make it work. We're smashing the tank. <laughs> so I'm just gonna throw this out there. If this video gets 5,000 likes, you guys are gonna smash the tank? No. Yeah. 5,000 <laughs> 5, likes. 5,000 likes and smash the tank. So we got some water lettuce down the road. So this is an invasive plant down in Florida here. So no harm, no foul on taking this out of the wild, but should help the alligator feel a little more at home for the time being until he settles in. And what's the point of the water less? Just give him some more coverage? Mm -hmm. Yeah, if only we had a little bit more, but you know, when you're not doing something yourself, it never gets done correctly. All right, guys. So here we are with the melanistic alligator. Perfect size for that log. Just gonna go a little bit shallower with the water so he can fully bask, but looks awesome. So Why do you have a mouth since why don't we go in the sun a little bit? Cause it's kind of hard to see him in the dark. Yeah. There's a lot of black uh, behind him. Well, he is a black alley. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. You see how it's almost like a gray and a blue on the head. And then brown on the sides. Yeah, a little bit of brown there in the tail. Mm -hmm. It's like it's just a lighter gray actually. Yeah. You sure put it in and see that underneath it's almost like a blue. Yeah. You got inside of you. Yeah. Pull, pull his belly up again. So you can see that, that light. Yeah. Yeah, he is not happy. <laughs> so again, it's so cool to see an alligator like this that's all black because usually you see these as adults where they're jet black, but this guy is just about two foot and there's no yellow patterning or banding whatsoever. I'm so, really curious to see what he looks like when he's adult. Yeah. Watch, it probably just looks like a regular alligator. <laughs> yeah. But hey, they're absolutely beautiful when they're younger. Let's get this guy in here. See how he settles in. Oh, all right. Get in there, buddy. All right, guys, so a little bit about this setup is it's a 250 gallon aquarium, seven foot by two foot by 30 inches tall. Um, it is got the filtration system here, which is a Fluable FX6. This is rated for 400 gallons. So, you know, with these animals, it's a stream bio load. So this will definitely keep up with everything that alligator can put out. And then if you look up there is a UV sterilizer. So again, that hits the viruses, bacteria, the, um, parasites if there are, just to really clarify the water that much better. Now, with this, it's a temporary setup. There are two glass on either side, and then there's gonna be a screened-in area here tomorrow, and then I'll put lights on top. You guys can see that on the Instagram in the next couple of days. So we'll have a heat light here, UV light for him to bask up there, and then the rest of it is, is water. So again, it's, you know, it's just a lot of deep crevices for him that he can hide behind the logs. And the water lettuce to help make it feel more comfortable and then the lights are coming tomorrow as well i think that about wraps up today's video yeah if you like today's video make sure to like comment subscribe also follow us on instagram primitive predators and we'll see you on the next one <laughs>